Let's spend a minute and talk about how businesses work. The idea of a business like Best Buy is to make money and they do that by selling you stuff. Now the stuff in their store, they would have bought from a company and then they would have sold it to you. So here's an example of something you find in Best Buy is the game Minecraft. And Minecraft is made by a company named called Mojang and Mojang was recently bought out by Microsoft and uh, let's say for example that Microsoft is selling the game or Mojang, Mojang slash Microsoft is selling you the game or selling Best Buy the game for $12. So what that means is Best Buy is pulling out a check, writing $12, giving it to, micro, to, to the company here and then they get the game. Now when Best Buy sells it to you, they're not going to sell it to you for $12 because they wouldn't make any money. Imagine you buying something for $12 and selling it to your friend for $12. You haven't made anything. So we have to mark up the price. And they do that by marking it up by a certain percentage point. And we need to figure out what Best Buy's selling price is. Now this isn't very difficult to do. Here's what the steps are. You need to first ask yourself, 40% of what? Say that out loud. Say 40% of what? 40% of what? 40% of $12. That's what we want to find out. Now you need to convert the percentage point into a decimal point. And to do that you find the decimal which is always here if you don't see it and you move it backwards two times. And that gets you decimal 40. Um, the word of turns into times and this is $12. You can do this on your calculator or you can do it in your head. I'm just going to do it in my head. It's $4.80. Now you turn 40% into a decimal 40. Here's another explanation behind that. 40% means 40 over 100. And 40 over 100, if you divide these, you get decimal 40. That's the reasoning behind it. Now this has got to be the price, right, Mr. Melham? This is, this is the answer. I can move on, can't I? No. You know why? Because this is the markup. If you look closely at the word markup, you see the word up. You need to take this price and up it. You got to add it. So you start with the $12 and you add $4.80. Doing so would get you $16 and what? And 80 cents. That's going to be my price, $16.80. I will mention this here. If you would have done this on your calculator, just so nobody's confused, you would have typed this in times $12 and you would have got 4.8. And maybe you're sitting there wondering why I put 4.80 or 4.8. You know what? They're the same thing. This zero, if a zero comes in the last spot after the decimal, you can delete it. Doesn't matter there. The reason we write it in is because money always has two decimal spots. So I filled in a zero because that's just how money works. You got to put two decimal spots. It's $4.80, not $4.08. A lot of you have played this game, Halo 4. I'm going to turn the situation around a little bit, make the math somewhat more interesting. For example, let's say the manufacturer's price is, that's a lot of money for a Halo game. This is what happens when you copy and paste and you don't check your work. Halo games don't sell for 360 bucks, nor do they cost that much to make. I don't know what a Halo, I haven't checked the prices as of late. Let's say it costs them, I don't know, say 14 bucks. And that's the manufacturer's price. Best Buy will pay that much to get it into their store. And then, Best Buy selling price hopefully is not 400 bucks. Let's say it's $22. With that being said, what is the percentage markup? I wanna know what the percentage is. In the last question I gave it to you, in this question I'm not giving it to you. I'm giving you just the difference here. Ask yourself this question. If you want to figure out a percentage point on your exam, think to exams here because the formula is the same no matter what you do. Don't you have to divide two numbers first? You have to divide your score 
by the total number of marks. The total, right? And then you times by 100. That's how you get percents. That's the rule no matter what question I give you. If I say find a percent, you do this. Now in this case, we don't have a score. What we have is a markup. So we will replace score by markup. So we will write mark up. And we don't have a total. What we do, we have a total price. Now is it 14 or is it 22? It's 14. The 22 did not even exist until Best Buy made it happen. All Best Buy had was the $14 original total price that they paid. So we use that number in our calculation. So we will write percent equals, the markup is how much? It's $22 minus $14. That makes $7 markup. Or is that, no, that's $8 markup. So we will write $8. So we will write $8 on the top. That's the markup. The total, remember, is the original. You always go back to the original amount when figuring out the percent. Then you times by 100. So let's do that really quickly. We're going to make 8 divided by 14. You could do this on your own calculator. And then we are going to times it by 100. And we get, okay, we're going to have to round here. We get a whole bunch of decimals. Don't let those scare you. We just want to go up to here. We don't want any decimals. So do we round this up or do we keep it the same? We have to round. Now, that, since that's a 1 here, that's a 1, it doesn't change the 7. Only if it's 5 or higher. So the answer is going to simply be 57% markup. Somebody's getting rich.